What's up, tax savers? I want to help you make a decision today on whether you should get a big refund or owe some money to the IRS at tax time. And it really does make a difference on your personal preferences. And it, you know, we, we talked about in a previous video how getting a big refund is a interest-free loan that you're giving the IRS. Well, sometimes that's okay if you're gonna go instead of taking that money and having the IRS pay you nothing for it, if you're gonna go take it and put it on a credit card that you have to pay 15% interest on, then maybe it's better for the IRS to hold it and make that a forced savings account. So if you're naturally a saver and an investor, I would say have the biggest take home paycheck that you possibly can. So claim eight or nine withholdings on your, on your W-4 and get as much take home as possible. If you're naturally a spender where the second you get a dollar, you spent a dollar 20, I would consider claiming zero, maybe having an extra little bit withheld in your paycheck. That way you just see what you have each month as a paycheck, not realizing that you're gonna get three, four, five thousand dollars back at tax time. And then take that money at tax time and go, don't go do the big lots guaranteed, you can buy a couch with your refund, just show us your tax return. Uh, actually take that refund and put it into a savings account, then once a year, you're putting money into an investment. So it's not always good to get a big refund. It's not always good to owe. It's really depending on your, if you're a spender or a saver. Uh, so hopefully I helped you make that decision today. If I did, hit a love or a like. Either way, I would love to have some sort of engagement from you. Don't just lurk back in there. Uh, and I hope you found some value in this. And we'll see you next time.